Hello, Infinity team. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to go over the vendor invoice process with the safe searches attached. Uh, real quick, you can see in the reminders portlet, I've added it here. And I am starting first from the AP role. So you can see that the two that are ap applicable to the AP role is the vendor invoices entered but not submitted. And then the vendor invoices rejected, correct? And so you can go, let's just open up this here. You can see this is safe search. And we can organize it by date. And we can see that. Oh, give me a moment. That uh, these uh, these are currently open, but these are the uh, the invoices that have been entered but not submitted yet. So they're waiting for certain paperwork to be attached. You can notice that it also doesn't say edit because I believe this period has been closed already as well. And then you can also see here I did was doing test transactions before this. And you can see that there are several test transactions in here too, as well. And let's go back to here. You can see that was one, but this needs to be reloaded. And you can see it's correctly now too, right? So when it's in the correct number, you want to load it. This is also proposed to pay, which will also be an accounts payable um, function. But we'll go over that briefly at the end of this meeting. So we're just going to actually go through the process real quick. I'm going to do it for one of the original transactions I created. I'll be deleting all these after <coughs> this uh, call anyways, this video. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a copy of it real quick. We can say test 3, right? And it's all submitted, it's include expenses, all this is filled out. Now we hit save. Right. Now let's go back just to the home screen real quick, and we can go here, and we can see in here, so organized by date, be listed here. And this is edible because this is an open period, right? So they keep track of the ones that have been entered but not submitted. Right. At at this point, I'm going to create another one just so we can have multiple test transactions in here. So we're good to go. We have two test transactions. I'm going to go ahead and hit push both of these to submit for approvals. Find the other one real quick. Submit for approvals. Now I'm going to jump into the senior accountant or cost accountant. Well, I'm going to do senior accountant in this instance. And you can see here, there's several invoices for that they need to approve. 31, 381 entered but not submitted. 15 invoices to approve. So we'll go to the ones that I created. So we're going to say this one right here. This is already pre-filled out because I made a copy of the transaction, test transaction. But in this situation, let's say they look through this and they say, oh, this is the incorrect GL account. It's supposed to be inventory asset. This is in inventory asset. All right, let me do that. Go to reject bill. And we can see here that email has been sent out to the accounts payable employee. This is automatically filled in for the user that originally creates this invoice. And we can go here. We can see that the message right here is here. And it'll also be an attachment, which we go into my Gmail real quick. You can see there's a bunch of invoices here, All right? And uh, currently, it's not set up with the attachment, but I'll make sure I set that up after this meeting, after this video. I apologize; it's early here. All right, from here, now we go back to where we were at. 
Let's go resubmit for approvals. So we can see here, this has been updated. So this is the one that's waiting to be resubmitted. These are the ones that are event invoices to, waiting to be approved. These have been entered, in, uh, entered but not submitted yet, right? So if we go to event invoice, we can go, to hit, go ahead and hit approve bill. After this point, it goes back over to the accounts payable. Uh, field. So I'm going to jump up into their screen. And you can see here, this is how they'll propose all their payments. And you can see it's all set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and organize this by date. Right. And, uh, ooh, some old payments. Give me a moment. All right, so now I was able to find them. So from this portlet shown right here, all right, so we want to make sure we go to find the specific customer we're trying to approve. All right, so we're doing a test. We see here the AP person will now propose it to test. Right now it says no. So we can go ahead and say, hey, we want to propose these three min payments to test. So that'll be proposed. And we want to show specifically we are proposing three dollars to be paid. And this will be, there's a process that Cassie will have in place to see anything that's proposed. So this is the process from top to beginning. These are the line of portlets. Please let me know if your guys want any changes or updates. Thank you. Bye.